Yesterday, Zwift released a very small trailer or teaser of the new upcoming longer climb on Watopia. A few internet sleuths jumped on it, did some overlays, dived into all the details and found that it looks a lot like Alpe d'Huez over in France. Now, will we be seeing Alpe d'Huez? Is it Zwift's own spin, Zwift d'Huez, Watopia d'Huez? I'm not quite sure. So I was doing a bit of digging as well and I've come across four new images. They're only still shots about what we might be seeing on Watopia very shortly. So let's jump over and have a quick sneak peek look at those. First image here, we can see, well, obviously a hill. And looking at the, uh, the gradient on the side there against those bricks, that looks to be at least 10 to 13% gradient. So that's looking quite steep. Next up, we've got a runner. Oh, I'm trying to pick out other details and features. If you can see anything in these shots, let me know that we can pick out. We may be able to determine what's going on, but there, it sort of flattens out through that section there, still up past the snow line. Next appears to be down a little further. Not much there in the distance. I think the most telling one though, is this one here. Not much detail in it, but it indicates that we are above the cloud line, above the tree line. So there's gonna be a hell of a lot of climbing coming up. So that's what we know so far about the upcoming route expansion on Zwift. We have that small little six second snippet of those zigzag roads and we have those four still images showing there's gonna be a hell of a lot of climbing coming up. I'm super keen to see what they've done. I love a good switchback section, but I also love a good downhill, that wind in your hair on the smart trainer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, it's virtual, it's all good. Okay, thanks for watching and remember subscribe below. We'll be totally across it as soon as this drops or if we get any more information. All right, thanks for watching.